Imagine winning a competition to build a new airport in Mexico City with a design that is quite literally out of this world. A single terminal, a showcase of Mexican innovation, a government vision to transform the landscape and the economy. It can only be built with cutting edge technology. To make it happen, you need the very best people, 200 of them from around the world. Architects, engineers, planners, programmers, modelers, visionaries. We're interdependent. We're about 140 different disciplines and we work as one team. This airport should be the opportunity to celebrate Mexico as a destination. And we are very confident that we have the best team in the world to develop this project together. But even with the best team in the world, building this airport is not going to be easy. I think there are some incredible challenges on the project. The scale is one thing. The site is really, really complicated. It's on a drained lake, which means it's a very soft, uh, uh, soft soil underneath. It's a seismic area. We learned there's also a volcano nearby. So I, I don't know what else they could possibly throw at us. Um, but there is quite a long list of challenges to getting this right. Construction starts in 2016 and must be completed by 2020. A tough order, but this team knows airports inside out. Stansted was a radical departure. We literally turned the conventional terminal upside down, brought in natural light and created a space that was welcoming and that was about the romance of flight. In Hong Kong, we raised an island chopped it down, created a site, a site the size of Heathrow. At the time, the biggest airport in the world. Beijing, like Hong Kong, was developing the model of Stansted, the reinvention of the airport. The biggest airport in the world, but also the friendliest. All under one roof, a roof so immense, rather like an artificial sky. For Mexico, what is the next step? What would revolutionize airport design? What if you could have one component that could unify all these various elements, take out the columns, the 36 meter span goes to 170 at its greatest? What if this could do everything in a way, as a flowing geometry, letting in the light, and a kind of sinuous sculptural form in the landscape. To turn what if into a reality, the team has used the concept of a hanging chain turned upside down to create the geometry of the roof. This floppy chain, when suspended, forms in its shape the perfect tension structure. If we then made this rigid by gluing applying a high-performance glue along the length of that so that it then becomes rigid and we turn that upside down, we end up with the perfect compression structure. Computer power makes something that is immensely complicated look effortless. The roof is supported by funnel-shaped columns. And by virtue of their shape, they, they create a smooth distribution of forces between the columns and the roof. They essentially become one thing. There are 21 funnels, and each one is the size of the British Museum roof. This building is 1,500 metres long, and throughout, the architects and engineers are making sure the form and function are closely interwoven. The site presents a set of unique difficulties for the engineers. When you take a sample of the soil and you uh, dry it in an oven, uh, you discover that uh, there's about seven times as much water as there is soil. So the team have built a raft to, quite literally, float the structure in wet earth. And the idea is that we're removing an amount of soil, a weight of soil, that's about equal to the weight of the building. So it almost floats there, in a sense, and the soil doesn't know the difference. Mexico City lies between three large tectonic plates and has a long history of destructive earthquakes. The engineers need to understand how they could affect the structure. It's rather like uh, shaking a jelly in a bowl. The building then reacts 
to that shaking and then pushes um, force back into the soil. So there's a true soil structure interaction. Minimising impact on the environment is essential. Sustainability is key. The airport needs to earn a green building certification. The climate in Mexico City is such that for nearly half of the year we can work with the air at ambient temperature. The rest of the year minimum heating and cooling. A mild air displacement system which together with all the other techniques distributing air through pipes in slabs insulation, harvesting energy. We've pioneered these techniques over a period of nearly 50 years, working with environmentalists, research groups, specialist engineers, to ensure that this airport will truly be the most sustainable on the planet. True sustainable design has um, a triple bottom line of environmental, social and economic factors that all need to come together and overlap in some way to be truly sustainable. It's a piece of infrastructure that we all need as, as, as Mexicans. Part of the agenda of the project is how we can uh, create more employment, develop more the local construction companies and about how we as a country can take this opportunity to develop the environment. Mexico City Airport. Low impact on the environment, high impact on passengers. You're going to um, come into land to Mexico City. You may capture a glimpse of, of the airport, which will look unique from the air. You will then step off the aeroplane onto the fixed bridge, which is the first of the elements that are part of the system of um, elements that we've designed. The arriving passenger steps into a world of light and drama, traveling through the building calmly and seamlessly to an onward destination. Meanwhile, for those leaving Mexico, the journey is just beginning. The car park structure, the GTC as it's called, um, is the first part of the experience and we want that to be special in itself. Imagine you've arrived under this great sweep of a roof. You move through to departure and at this elevated level you see the incredible space, column-free, vast, filled with light, truly uplifting. As you move down the escalators into the heart of the building, that gives you the orientation to the arms which move off uh, and take you to the aircraft. This airport is about connectivity, short walking distances, convenience, Minimum number of level changes, no getting on and off trains, no tunnels. It's about the celebration and the joy of space and light. Mexico City Airport. Foster and Partners. Free. Narco. Arab. One vision. One design. One team. We are not designing this airport for the day of the opening, but we are designing this airport for the next century in our country. This is where the edge is, and if you want to be looking for the future, you want to be on that edge. I always in mind to use that airport with my own kids and try to uh, make my own kids see the potential of our country and the potential of architecture. If we take a crystal ball and we look into the future, 2062, how do we know what the needs will be? All we can say is we want the most flexible enclosure that's possible that can accommodate internal change. In summary, we've taken a holistic approach to the design of this airport. We show a model which will be an inspiration for future airports, which will be efficient, operationally flexible for the future, and above all, beautiful and a great experience.